this 15 rugby is that you can't really beat it in terms of passion. First 15 rugby in the year 2020. We are live in central Auckland in Auckland Grammar School as we get set for the visit of Sacred Heart in the Auckland 1A competition. Very good afternoon. Welcome along to Auckland Grammar. Tom Bartlett alongside Willie Lose and Willie, the 1A competition in Auckland littered with wonderful rivalries. Auckland Grammar, Sacred Heart, doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, it's a big game for both of these schools. They really look forward to it. They plan for it 12 months in advance. And the other thing that we need to talk about is Auckland Grammar with home ground advantage. You only get around six games a season at home. You want to make sure that you make this the fortress and so you don't let any team come into your ground and get away with the victory. Also important to note, in this year's 1A, no semi-finals, no finals. This is going to be a, a shootout, a, a marathon or a, a sprint as opposed to a marathon. So important to not to not slip. Yeah, well, it's used to, it used to be in my days, Tom, that's about 100 years ago, but that's the way it used to be. There were no finals. Basically, every game was one that you had to win. And the sad thing about it is that if you lost to an opposition, you have to wait 12 months before you get another chance to get another shot. So all games are really important, and that's why Auckland Grammar certainly go in as the favourites. They certainly do. Both these teams had a win last week, and they'll be looking forward to good conditions today. Auckland Grammar always wonderful underfoot and again it is today. Little bit of breeze but it's so light there's not nothing to worry about in terms of the weather here. Should be perfect conditions for running rugby. There's so many wonderful players on show here today and we're going to see some special stars from both Auckland Grammar and Sacred Heart as well. And one of those players is Sione Lokeni, the number eight for Sacred Heart. He's a big ball carrier Willie. He'll be a key player again for them today. Yeah, well, he was so easy to spot last year, wasn't he, with that long mane that he had. That's, he's lost that, but cut that off for season 2020, but he enjoys the contact. He really is their go-to guy, and he's a wonderful player with a massive future. Some wonderful players have worn that number eight jersey for Sacred Heart. More, more recently, of course, Hosking Satutu, but this is the kind of player that gives them the go for it, isn't he? And this is their team for Sacred Heart College. They come to Auckland Grammar this afternoon. Meredith, Hankins and Maasi in the front row. The captain, Kingy, wears four. It's a good loose forward trio. We talked about Lock Kenny, but he's got Shanks and Kirilich with him. Vaka Uta and Unga, the nine and ten combination. Then there is speed and power out wide. Keep an eye on the right winger, Kepa Oa. The reserves looking for impact, particularly perhaps from number 22, Lele. Alfano. The captain is Jaden Kingy, and he spoke with Willie just a short time ago. Jaden, always a big game up against Auckland Grammar School. How's the uh, squad prepared this week? Uh, prepared pretty well. Um, we know Grammar is a big side, and uh, we, yeah, we've stayed in quite well. And um, we know that they're going to come out firing for the first half, so our goal is to move around, move them around, and move their big boys around. And uh, hopefully we put on a show on here today. Good win against Liston last week, 58-0. What was pleasing, the attack or more the defence? Uh, both actually, because um, we, we have a very fast back three, so we used them quite a lot. We worked them around the edges and um, got a good win with the try. A lot of experience in your side as well, so how important is that in a game like this? Uh, very important, uh, it all comes down to experience, especially as a TV game. And um, yeah, just making sure that the boys stay calm, collective, especially with a uh, big crowd coming on. You know there's a big crowd coming today. And uh, hopefully the boys will put on a good show and uh, play the best of their abilities. I know you'll do well, mate. Go well. Thank you, sir. 
Wonderful Thank young you. man, and what a wonderful crowd is building up here. Look at that for a shot, Willie Lose. The Auckland Grammar School putting on a show. They've got good support from both teams, of course. There are the Grammar fans on the other side of the ground. Good crowd from Sacred Heart. In terms of the home team, though, Willie, let's focus on them for a moment. They've got so many wonderful players, but their captain, Finau Halafi, is a superstar. Oh, he really is. The 18-year-old played for New Zealand Secondary Schools in season 2019. Loves the attack, and this is what he's so good at, is ball in hand. He just runs over the top of them, and that year experience, that added year experience, Tom, is something that I think is going to be great for them in the real close contest. And you see him here in a game against Kings last year, where he scored the match winner. Yeah, he's a big, big player. He's a big inspirational figure for Auckland Grammar, their captain, Fino Halafi. And let's have a look at the team that he will lead here this afternoon. There he is, Halafi in jersey too. He's got Tepai and Lilia Manu in the front row. Lotte Inga's a big ball carrying lock forward, while Jackson and Manukia, the six and eight combination, strong as well. McKenna and Gray, well, they're raw at first 15 level, but they have skill, they have some potential to really play well. And out wide, Williams and Fina Anganofu. That's a name you're going to hear a lot this afternoon. The two brothers in the team with uh, Fifi and John on the reserve bench. Their captain is, of course, Fina. Halafi and he spoke with Willie just a short time ago. Final second game of the season. You must be pleased with the way that you went last week, not allowing any points to be scored. Oh uh, yeah, just pleased with the boys um, with the performance last week. Uh, even though I didn't play, um, I trust the boys to um, get the work done and yeah, they did it. You got a lot of experience in this team. How important is that in a game like this against Sacred Heart? Oh well, um, to be honest, uh, it's always a a tough game against a secret, but for experience, uh, it'll be good for the young boys to um, help them out with big games like this. All right, best of luck. Cheers, sir. Fino Halafi'i, and he's got his team getting set to come out onto Auckland Grammar. There are the Sacred Heart supporters, the mascot. And here they come, led out by their captain, Jaden Kingy. Third year in the first 15, year 13, Blues under 18. He's a good leader, he's a good player. And Sacred Heart will look to him to lead them here. Of course, 12 months ago, Sacred Heart upset the then 1A leaders, Auckland Grammar, in this fixture. Be feeling confident about it. there's a lot of players too in this team, Willie, that have played this, this fixture before. Well, a lot of them have come back, so they were there last year. They knew what it did for their season, and they walked past the massive amount of students that are here. Boy, this is a terrific crowd. One of the beauties of Land Rover First 15 Rugby, right around the country, Sky, and here they come, out onto AGS, come the visitors, Sacred Heart, lapping up this atmosphere, as you'd expect, to always oh, plenty of wonderful fixtures in this competition, and here come their opponents, the home team. Led out by their skipper, Finau Halafi, and they'll get a warm welcome out onto Auckland Grammar. It's a matter of just trying to block that out. I know it sounds easier than it is, but you accept the challenge of the hucker from the visitors and then you just get into your work. But boy, this is a terrific crowd so early in the season and well, the team of five million, we should be proud, Tom. Absolutely, and you think about too, Willie, the, the vent up sort of frustration of being locked up and we're about to see, you get the feeling here, pretty special game. Wait for the challenge to be led by Sacred Heart.
A terrific scene set there ahead of this 1A showdown. Auckland Grammar and Sacred Heart. The man with the whistle. There he is, Richard Lowton. With some assistance, obviously, the two AR ARs. But certainly Willie Lose, scene setter, couldn't ask for a better atmosphere, a better, more expectant crowd here than you've, you've got here this afternoon. Well, as we mentioned in the preview, hey, Tom, guys, let's go, hey. you know, these are rare opportunities. You're lucky enough you get to play in two of these games a year, or two of these games in your career, I should say, but this is where it starts. Round two, good win for Grandma last week against Stillworth, 55-0 in Sacred Heart, 58-0 against Liston. So they both come in yet to concede a point. And so they'll be riding high. Plenty of experience as well on both sides. Absolutely. Both of these teams stacked with year 13 students. So a lot of them have played first 15 rugby before. Obviously would have been eyeing up a much more comprehensive 2020 season than the one they're going to get due to the COVID situation. But there is a player to keep an eye on. That's Fihi Fina Onganofu. Because he's not the first Fina Onganofu that we've featured on Land Rover first 15 rugby. Older brother Bunlino. Is now or a very similar scrum hat that as well. And there's another brother, John Finonganofu, on the reserve bench. All set to go at Auckland Grammar School. Strap yourselves in. Auckland 1 8 rugby live on Sky. So Sacred Heart gets us going. And straight away, heavy contact. Gage Jackson, the number eight for Grammar, took the pass, and here's the captain, Halafigi, carrying it up to the 22. Looking to hold on to the ball, and then a little chip over the top, and then a bit of work in the air. Ball gets ripped, though. It will go back for the penalty, and some assistance here for Grammar to get out of their red zone. Well, Zachary Shanks didn't need to do that. The player had kicked it, and they'd moved on. Actually happened just before that it was where the kick had taken place and the first five was taken out. Referee saw it, it's come back for the penalty. Good intentions from Auckland Grammar though, right from the get-go. Inside their own red zone, forget about kicking the ball for safety, let's run it. Yeah, if you needed a reminder of, of the level of rugby you're watching here, first 15 rugby, very rarely do the boys kick the ball away. They'll hold on to it. We're inside the first minute and the first set piece. Line-out time for Auckland Grammar right on halfway. Alafi'i finds his jumper and Lotto Winger. Comes out to first five, Gray. Flat run, a good work over the advantage line goes Fina Anganofu. And to the left they come. Gray spots a bit of space. Almost gets around the tackle. Well taken though, my Lulu for Sacred Heart. And a penalty this time for the visitors. Didn't let it go. Oh, that's a massive play from the big lock. Patero, my Lulu. First five on lock, you'd back the first five 99% of the time. And he just used his two metre, two metre frame to stick his mid out and bring down the first five. This is not easy. I can tell you, they set a ruck here. Fina Anga Norfolk with a nice setup, but then they bounce back and strike back the blind side. And have a look at this. First five on lock, first five should win. Not on this occasion. Sacred Heart. Throw right to the line out and then they get to work the forwards right at the back there is shanks Looking to make up for that indiscretion wonderful rolling ball this one charlie hankins at the back there for sacred heart peels off and heads down the short side up to the 22 first opportunity of the game for sacred heart yes that player again my lulu up over the 22 and it's being turned over so opportunity here for grammar to clear and they do so. A little bit of a raid thwarted by Auckland Grammar. Grammar were lucky to get away with that. They clearly collapsed that ball. How the referee didn't give a penalty to Sacred Heart is beyond me, but they managed to steal the ball again at the breakdown. Both teams' lineouts working really well in the opening stages of this game. Hankins down the back he goes again. They'll just repeat what they did earlier. Or look to repeat what they did earlier. This time, Grammar look a bit more organised. Peeling off is Shanks again. It's to be full of work does Zach Shanks, the Sacred Heart blindside. Out into midfield. Wrapping around this time is Unga. Space on the left-hand side. Ball just got in the way to Grammar. Now we're in touch. Good width from Sacred Heart.
Wonderful crowd is gathered here. Saw that shot there nice and wide and beautiful to see the people getting out Saturday afternoon and all a little bit overcast, but perfect really. Hold it, gents. You must come in and hold. You cannot go straight up. Okay, let's have it again, please. Alafihi doesn't get that one right. Hit the referee, so Sacred Heart will take the scrum. Option, what would you like? Scrum. Scrum can fall. Um? Two great midfields for both of these sides. Their quality. So they've got the ball. It wasn't straight. Now Porto <laughs> and Kay in the midfield for Hart and for Grammar. Finang and Norfolk and Armstrong. Boy, there is some quality on display this afternoon. We're not going head on head today, fellas. Heads and gaps. You can see that Kepa Oa as well, the left hand wing. In fact, that's Walsh, the left hand wing. He'll hold the Lucy's, which means that they can't drift. So, by him standing in behind the scrum, means that they can use him as first receiver or just as a dummy runner. Set! Just poise behind, directly behind this scrum. Ball is fed by Vakaulta and then cleared. Coming off that ring is Kepa Oa charges up into the tackle of Cullen Gray, the first five for Grammar. Wrapping around, bit of space here, trying to get his arms free was Kobe Kay. Brought down though in the tackle. Halfback not particularly protected and Grammar try and spoil. Kay goes into wrapping around. Here is Lokeni. And the defence is good from Halafiki on the 10 metre line. Inside Grammar territory. Lovely lies like Floating pass, player was offside though. It's physical in the opening five minutes and you'd expect nothing less from these two sides and Sacred Heart say it's an important game. We're going to take points on offer if they're available. And Auckland Grammar there just under the pump, rushing up out of the line to try and make a spot tackle. And this is the big shot that they put on Lokini. We highlighted him. In the early start of the game and have a look at that two captains while well, the two Tongans come together. Boy, there is some Taro in between those two players. Good player, isn't he? Halafihi, the captain for Grammar. Looks busy, doesn't he? Always seems to be involved with it. I mean, he's a hooker. Sometimes you're stuck in the middle of the of the Rucker Mall, but he seems to be in good position. If you know Halafi, New Zealand secondary schools last year, didn't get a chance to play, but also Blues 18s. First points, first point opportunity for points. For Sacred Heart, first five, Josiah Unga. Good strike from Onga. Started it to the left and it never really came back. So no goal. Sacred Heart, certainly the best of the first seven minutes. Gray gets it up nice and high. Coming forward is Onga to collect it. The tackle at the same time. Comes back here for Hankins in midfield. It's about going right and then goes left. Good strength there from Jaden Kingy. It's the captain of Sacred Heart wearing jersey four. Comes out to Noptita. Good little kick through. Good position though was the fullback Riley Williams for Grammar. But he's up. He's going to have to get down. He needs some help. There's a lot of Sacred Heart jerseys there though. And they can't free it. Easy way. Quality easy play. Way. Now Potto with the kick along the ground, which was beautifully weighted, and then Riley Williams, boy, he's classed the fullback. This is not easy to do on the run, to gather it, and then get swarmed up. Must have felt like he was back in lockdown. Look at this. He's just swarmed. No social distancing there. I think if you counted there, well, it could have been seven or eight Sacred Heart bodies wrapping around him. Points. But that poor old Bowden Barrett and the Blues against the Hurricanes there, wasn't step it? Up, step up. Okay. 
Sacred Heart just building shoulder. pressure. And Look at that face. territory. They are dominating the game being played almost exclusively in Auckland Grammar's half. Well, they need to make a count now for points. They've spent 36 seconds in the opposition, 22. They need to try and get some points on the board. Find. Set. Makauta feeds the scrum. Bit of pressure coming here from the grammar scrum, but they're going to clear it. And they do. Unga coming back on the cut is Kobe K. Taken down. Midway 22 goal line. Big opportunity here for Sacred Heart. He can't hold on. Unga. Just had a little look up at the defence, and it was the line speed of Auckland Grammar that just put him in two minds. Boy, I like the cut of the jib of Kobe K and also Wonga. A classic 1-3 cut where the first five runs mark. across, goes lateral, and then gives it to a centre. Here comes bringing the ball back to his forwards. And he looked to go wide, but the defence from Grammar equal to the challenge. Scrums have been really interesting. That defensive line you're talking about too, Willie, they're coming up flat and getting it wrong Boys. occasionally, but getting it right a lot too. So it's that risk Set. and reward that Grammar are playing defensively and it's working for them. Chance to clear here. Scrum, centre field on their own 22. Wrapping around here is McKenna. They decide to run. Fanoanohu gets a pass through. Oh, some space on the right-hand side here for Grammar. Nafahu just shy of the 22. Terrific counter-attacking play from... Auckland Grammar winding up here. First real opportunity, Manakia inside the 22. Advantage. And they have the advantage too. Flat pass, the defence so good from Sacred Heart. McKenna. And Anganofu. Strong in the tackle. We're going backwards. But just like that, Willie Lose, say Auckland Grammar get hold of the ball and down into the 22 they go. Set piece scrum, lovely feed from Jackson to McKenna who gets his skates on. And then quick hands from... Fanaanga and Nofu, have a look at this. The ball will always beat the man, so just pass, draw them in, and release and allow the space that Nafahu had. Did the right thing here, holding on to the ball. And then they get the penalty. It's taken 10 minutes for them to get outside their own half, Tom. And it might take them a minute to score the first points. And they've turned down the shot at goal from a handy distance. They are chasing seven here at Auckland Grammar. Red, step off the mark, please. Thank you. Okay, goal just have you in. Saw a shot in that replay of Joel Nafahu running down the sideline with the ball in one hand. Just gives you an idea of the enthusiasm, the skill of these young men. Line out, one by Conrad Lottowinger. They set the drive, peeling off, up to the line, almost just a couple of metres short. Real opportunity here for Grammar. Spinning, and I think they've scored the headline. Leah Sorsu's got it. And Auckland Grammar, just like that, get their hands on the ball and they get the try. Oh, they went for the main drive and then they lost control of the ball. And as quick as you like, Hainsworth, Faofu, he had a lick first. He got rejected by Maasi. The big tight head prop kept him out. But they were never going to stop Falcon. Laosursu, have a look at this first. Lead. The flanker, he has a lick. The prop is there to deny him. But not the second time. The big lock picks, drives, swirls, gets it down. Great positioning by the referee. Credit to Auckland Grammar. Safe option would have been to kick for goal. They said, no, no, we'll have a crack. Back themselves. Halafi'i, the skipper, found his jumper. And then Falcon Liasuasu gets the try for Grammar. And having absorbed so much pressure inside their own half, they get the try. Opportunity here for Riley Williams to add the extras. Good looking kick from Williams. Successful. The try scored by Falcon. Leah Suosu converted by Riley Williams and Auckland Grammar. Have the early advantage in the first half. Seven points to nil. Unga with the restart for Grammar comes down to Chambers Stewart for Grammar up to the 22. 
Gray. Oh, finger on the knuckle. This gets out of the way of that one. Carry there from Armstrong. Centre. Cleared again by McKenna. Finds the try scorer. Lea Suasu. Use it! Finna on the knuckle. That distinctive pink headgear. Sticking to the right. Hello, Fee. Oh, good speed here. Flanker. And he gets his hands free. The ball free to Nafahu. Kicks forward. Good position, though. The fullback for Sacred Heart. Ulisi is held up by Finanganufu. Who has to let him go. Sacred Heart get their hands back on the ball. Mailalu. This time they decide to kick. Spots a bit of open real estate in the corner for. Grammar, this one rolling and will roll too far. Like the maturity being shown by the Sacred Heart side, even though they were conceded early points, behind the post there they just spoke about just playing their game and that's what they're doing at the moment. It's all about momentum in the game of rugby, and if you can get the momentum swing back in your favour, all of a sudden things start to happen. And they really did dominate that first 10 minutes. With no reward, and then conceded a try very quickly. Be easy to drop their heads, but not the Sacred Heart team. Shanks with the return. Unga. Meredith in midfield, the prop forward. Nice sort of work from Almanopo, he's nicked it though. The silent assassin has struck early in the first half. He started smiling as soon as he got the ball. He knew he had the pace. And it's called hand-me-downs because that's the headgear that he's wearing. That's what his brother used to wear, that exact headgear. And it's bringing the sort of luck that his brother had wearing that headgear. Look at this. Watch the smile on his face. Looked around. Can't believe it. Looks up. Puts the ball down. Grandma get their second. And again, against the run of play, just thiefed it. And Willie looks like you've picked it from a mile away, that smile. Vihi, Fina Anganofu, and Grammar out to 12 points to nil. Kick to come. Some real questions here for Sacred Heart to answer. Williams with the conversion, chips it between the posts. Two converted tries, the difference inside the first 17 minutes at Auckland Grammar. That's a 14-point turnaround because if Marcy doesn't throw the pass, Sacred Heart's caught. They had numbers to burn down that left-hand flank. And if they just got it to the speed, they were definitely in. But Fine Anganofo, who read it like yesterday's homework. All cleared up to halfway by Grammar first five, Cullen Gray. He's playing his second game for the first 15 this afternoon. First year in the first 15. Looks a pretty composed 10 as the latest product out of Auckland Grammar. Born in Australia as well, so. <laughs> defense again in Sacred Heart there up quickly nice flat pass here's Kobe K who's looked very good in midfield for Sacred Heart and a couple of opportunities to run strong carry this time from distance Kingy captain advantage <laughs> can't play it because of the man in front terrific period Number of play from roll. Sacred Heart this is why they're a classy side as they just got to get back into their systems and get their players. You've mentioned Kay as well. Look, Kenny being the link man there, the number eight, giving a nice ball, and you're right, the centre for Sacred Heart. He has racked up some Ks in the first 18 minutes of this game. I think they drive here. They've certainly got the ascendancy here at line-out time. If they can get the throw right, I think they can score from a line-out. 
We saw a very impressive drive early on in this game. Sacred Heart, they must have peeled off 15, 20 metres very quickly. So they'll be looking for something similar because if they get 15 metres here, they'll be in the dead ball area. They'll be up the bank into the supporters. First job, Charlie Hankins. Tries to find a skipper that they get in the way, Grammar. Yeah. Gage Jackson brings it down for the home team. Chance to clear it. Late shuffle there to Halafi'i. Player in the man, but he's a skillful hooker. Back it comes to Cullen Gray. And he finds the safety of the embankment. Sacred Heart will be happy that they're still in that red zone. Nothing too fancy here. They just need the money ball. Too much movement in the line out allows Grammar to get up and compete. Whereas if you just do the standard line out and go straight up, they haven't got as much time to react. They go down the back. Taken by Krilicic. There we go. Sacred Heart. Ten from the line. Comes down. Was moving pretty well. Off the right wing comes Kipper Orr. Charges to within eight metres of the goal line. Sacred Heart. They've conceded two. Can they find one themselves? A strong carry from McKinney. Picked up by Shanks. Back foot. Good patience here from Sacred Heart. Just building the phases. Ball collected by Shanks again. Spins. Over the top was Jackson. No release. What do they do here, Willie? This take is a, a gift if they want it. Take a scrum. Definitely take the scrum here, but they'll probably... Scrum has been called. Yeah, that's a good call. I thought they were going to take the points, but they're on the attack here. They've just got to believe in themselves and get the seven points. They've worked too hard to just go away with three. Well, Jaden King, he, he took a look. I don't think he was looking at anybody in particular. I think he was just having a think about it away from everybody else. I don't think he was in any doubt that they were going to take the scrum there. And those supporters made the trip across from Sacred Heart. And have a look at that setup. They've got Unga and Uaisi standing directly behind the scrum. So they've got options of both going left or right, depending on which way the scrum screws here. Okay, step it for me, fellas. We've got to slip here. We've got to slip. Let's step up. Let's step up. This is why, as a defensive team, Tom, Thanks, you're Rob. there and you're supposed to mark up where your man is, but you can't. There's your mark. When you've got two players right behind the scrum, Grammar will split their defence to make sure they've got 10 on one side, 15 on the other. And normally, you're trying to attack the right-hand side. That's why Grammar's put their big Coach. defenders there. Fina Anganofo is first defender Mind. for the Grammar team. What are the odds on Lockheedy having a little dart here from the back of the scrum of it? It's collapsed. Another penalty. Taken quickly by the halfback. Throws the dummies up over the line. Makauta. Try is awarded. Took it quickly. Capitalising Sacred Heart hit back. Hard to believe he's a first year, first 15 player with experience and with class like that. You'd think he was a veteran. But he great heads up play. The penalty is there. The ball is on the ground. And the referee says penalty. So he just taps it there and he's off. First the step, then the dummy, and then pure power. Class. Good strength in the tackle, too. He had a couple of players all over him. And Vaka Uta sees the moment for Sacred Heart. And they are back in it. And they'll feel like this is more a score that reflects the game, too, Willie. Having done so well territory-wise, 78%. 56% of the ball, and yet they were 14 in arrears. Chance here for Unga. Cut that deficit just a little bit more. It's a good strike. It's a good kick from Josiah Unga. The try scored by Kava Vakauta, converted by his first five, Josiah Unga. And it's a seven-point ball game at Auckland Grammar. Oh, this is worthy of a final. It really is that good. The quality of football that we're seeing in the 23 minutes thus far, just 12 to go before the half.
Ball taken down by the halfback and looked more like one of my shanks on the golf course. <laughs> that kick, but it's in touch. Gus Ledger, the head coach of Sacred Heart, will be absolutely thrilled. That's the exit play that you want after scoring points. Last thing you want to do is make a mistake in your own half to give the opposition, or the home side, I should say, a chance to get more points. In particular for Sacred Heart, having done all that work to get themselves back to within seven. Alafi'i doesn't get that right. It's the referee. And so we'll have a scrum. And that's the second throw that they've thrown down the back. That They haven't found the target. So the captain sets high standards of himself. Halafihi. He'll address that at the halftime break. But Sacred Heart doing everything right. Behind on the scoreboard. But leading in most of the stats in front of us. Two minutes in the opposition. 22 compared to 28 seconds of grammar. And territory is the big one for me. 77% to the visitors. Set. In a good contest at scrum time in the first 25 minutes of this game. Comes out to Onga. And then he quickly shuffles it onto Naporta. And Williams is in good position. It's a bit of a juggle and then a slip. And all he can do is scramble that into touch, really. He's made a little bit of a meal of it in Riley Williams. But safety first. He got it. He got it done. Scored a double against Sacred Heart last year when they went down. But, yeah, this is tough. It's a lonely place, the rugby field, when you're down there as a fullback by yourself. Gets taken out after it as well. And he gets a little shoulder just for his trouble. So Sacred Heart, here they are again, just outside the 22. Go down the back. They find Krillitich this time off the top, though. Bunga. Flat pass, Kobe K hits the line. He had his arms free, too. That's the 22. Sacred Heart, good. Wrap around play here with Kingy. Coming in waves of Sacred Heart at the moment. And Peter Meredith carries it forward. Akulta clears back to the other prop. That's Maasi. Wants to come back the short side. Zach Shanks. Good strength from Zach Shanks. And the pass to. Are you happy he wasn't out? I'm happy he's grounded before he went out. Okay, Put thank up. you. We're going with a try. Try scored by Grady Walsh for Sacred Heart. Somehow the arms were free. The passes kept coming, Willie, and Grady Walsh got it done. Well, yep, Zachary me. Shanks, he needs to get credit for this. This is him having a look at this at the game line. Breaks through, then flicks the ball up to his loose forward mate. Then the quick hands, and Grady Walsh gets it down in time. Oh, super stuff from the visitors just before the break. How yeah, about the piece of the, the, the mind of Milan Krilicic to flick that pass to, to Walsh to continue it? Well, he knew he didn't have the pace, didn't he? Give it to your speed, man. That's what I always say. And then stay in support. What a turnaround the last three and a half minutes have been for Sacred Heart. Tricky kick this one for Josiah Unga. Chance to draw us all level here at Auckland Grammar. It's a lovely kick. High up. Wonderful kick for Unga. And a terrific try is converted by Josiah Unger, and we are all locked up eight minutes out from halftime. Well, how good are our camera crew here? Boy, oh boy, those pitches are just beautiful. Down at ground level, where you can see where the ball was being kicked, and then as it goes through the post. Got the A-team on here today. Restart from Grammar. Four tries in the first half already. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Wherever you are watching, around New Zealand, around the world. Wonderful game of first 15 rugby, this one. Clearance from Sacred Heart. Nafahu and Williams weren't sure in the end. Nafahu's taken it. McKenna finds Tepai, the prop forward for 
Hawkman Grammar, that's the halfway line. Kenner comes back for his first by Gray. Oh, good defence from Sacred Heart. They came up flat on that one. No need for you to play that. Kingy the man with the hit, but then the player just trying to get the steal there. Not supporting his own body weight. They're not making too many errors here. The visitor's Sacred Heart. Boy, what a contest. This way. Actually, a terrifically skillful game of rugby, this, isn't it? I mean, the amount of penalties, the penalties have been few and far between. Breakdown, mistakes, handling errors. Well, we're talking about a, uh, a very picky kind of situation here when it comes to penalties, isn't it? That's why we love Land Rover First 15 Rugby. It's pure, it's innocent, and it's played with so much passion and it's such a high skill set. He just wasn't sure and had another go. And so Sacred Heart, that pressure at line-out time. Free kick, you can go. Take him. And away they go. Here's the captain. And he got his hands free, but it left it behind the support player. And so Fina Ulanofu, one of the try scorers for Grammar in the first half, they now. collects it back for McKenna. Okay, Jeff, we're coming back. There's no advantage. We're going backwards. Knock on. Captain looking to just offload it there, and Lokini couldn't get it. You can see their intention, though. Their ability as young men to just make really, really good rugby decisions. That is not easy to do. The pass was there, but Lokini was slipping at the same time. And then have a look at Fine Anganofu. It's like he's been everywhere in the opening 30 minutes of this game. Well, he's wearing jersey 12, but at Cut. times he looks like a flanker. Then he looks like a halfback. Oh. An incredible skill set is Fiki Fingonganofu. Well, we've got to start thinking about the Sky Balance. Sport Player of the Day as well, Tom. Second Plenty of players putting back. their hand up. And as you mentioned, our coverage going all through New Zealand, also through Rugby Pass. So wherever you're watching around the world, how about this? New Zealand with crowds. Top quality rugby Boys. with a terrific crowd in attendance. Set. Centerville scrum here for Grammar. McKenna. Oh, Jackson did a good job there of fooling his the opposing halfback. Use it! McKenna gets them organised. And it's time to roll the sleeves up for some of the front rowers. Lilia Manu. Here's the three. McKenna goes again. Finds his captain, Halafi'i. Defensive line's good. Lockenny right in there. Picked it by Graham. It's been lost forward by Sacred Heart. We're going backwards. Graham are just losing the battle with, reform, with regards to their go forward. And so I think they look much better, Grammar, when they get the ball in midfield and start setting some targets a little bit wider. Easy picking for Sacred Heart when they're just coming around the corner, the one-off stuff. Well, it's that young Let's man and the players outside him who have done the, the, the running metre damage for Auckland Grammar. And I'm sure that would have been noted Crouch. by the Grammar coaches. James Hance, of Boys. course, is assisted by Dave Askews. Ask, Ask of course, Dave Askews has been a long-time Grammar head coach. Now in the assistant role, plenty of experience picking where they can exploit. Now they're out to Whenanganofu. Well, he called for it, and that's where they go. Armstrong, still on his feet, is Tamero Armstrong. Flying up this time. It's the Sacred Heart defence. Lovely pass out in the front. Collected by Tapai. Comes again, picked up! happened right in front of us and I'll tell you what he read that beautifully he knew where it was going and he just stayed patient just waited and then he just took it over the halfway and then the goose step he almost tripped himself up he won't want to see that again but he just had enough pace and power to get over the line the pass was the money ball that was going to the captain intercepted and what a first 35 minutes Josiah Unger has had
Terrific stuff, and don't they know it too? Wonderful celebrations, and those fans will be delighted about uh, that. Have to restart them probably about 30 seconds. Josiah Onga, there are a couple of passes in that sequence that Grammar were attacking with Willie. Cullen Gray let a beautiful floater out in front. I'm just wondering whether Onga spotted it and thought, it's time for, there's a money chance here if I can get my hands in the way. <laughs> All history now in the books, chance to extend the lead. Under a minute left in the first half. Started it to the left and it didn't come. And so no conversion from Josiah Unger, the sacred heart. Having conceded two tries in the early part of this half, have gone try, 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 and they have a five-point lead. As I say, right on the stroke of halftime here. It's time for the restart. Cullen Gray hangs it up and it's collected too. Well taken there by Sam Hainsworth. Awful. Maybe an opportunity still for Grammar. Back to Gray. Cutting back is Finonganofu. Very hard young man to tackle. Is Fihi. He's already scored one try. Bearing it forward. Penalty. What a finish to the first half for Sacred Heart. Captain Jaden Kingy gets his hands on the ball. No, they're playing with a team with a lot of confidence, even though they were behind by 14. After dominating so much of the first half, and that's a fitting finish as well, with the visitors taking the lead. A terrific first half of rugby in the Auckland 1A competition. Auckland Grammar absorbed so much pressure, they scored two tries, but then Sacred Heart hit back with three of their own. Five-point ball game at Auckland Grammar at Sacred Heart 19, Auckland Grammar 14. Real square carries, good footwork. Get back into that game. Just got to make sure we get the comms in. Okay, and that's the African. Points to 14. It is Auckland Grammar against Sacred Heart. And at the moment, it is Sacred Heart that hold that five-point advantage. A thrilling first half. Five tries. Entertainment plus. Absolutely superb. Let's go and have a listen in to the Auckland Grammar halftime huddle. 
Well, I mean, just, just a couple of things for me first in terms of attack stuff. Um, had some real good pockets of momentum there, and then we lost a bit of momentum. Okay, and we were just starting to build it back, and you know, unfortunately we throw one of those passes. That, that happens. Okay, that's all right. But let's just make sure we get back into those systems and shapes. Try and stay square, Ongo. All right, not a winger. Don't worry about running like a wing, running like a front rower. Okay, so stay square and be patient with it. It's all there. Right, there's opportunities, but we actually need to hold the ball for a period of time. All right, and if we're going to set pace, we then need to be trying to win that. Good, good. Pretty good. Me. Okay, okay. So as we got that, that last try, the momentum just shifted. Continue to shift it until everyone in that team doesn't want to play. Mindset. Yeah? Okay, so get going. Jennifer, for me? No, one good stuff, eh? What a um, end that we tried, but when we, we have the ball and we, we just keep handling them, man, we're going backwards the whole time. We don't have the ball. We keep holding that ball, keep that continuity going. Both of those huddles talked about momentum, Willie Lowe saying what a game of momentum this was in the first half. Well, it was all sacred half, but it was Grammar that scored first in the 11th minute. After so much defensive work, in goes the big lock. Leah Suosu, and they were off to the races with an early start. And sacred Heart had dominated for so long, and all of a sudden, Fiki Finganupu got his hands on the ball, the intercept, first, the first of two in the half. And it was 14-0 just like that. Yeah, but the quality of the visitors was just to be patient. And after enormous pressure there, the tap from the halfback, Fakahutu had to do a little bit of footwork and then a dummy, and then he gets this, has the strength and the presence of mind to put it down. They came straight back, did Sacred Heart. Wonderful skill from Shanks, Meredith, and then in the corner, Walsh in the tackle. A little bit of a conference, and then this one, Willie, the try of the half. Oh, it was. Unga read it beautifully. Had 60 metres to go, but he had the pace and he put it down to give his side hope as they take a five point advantage into the lip break. That was right on the stroke of half time as we look at the split. There it is Vaka Uta Unger and Walsh for Sacred Heart. Leah Suosu and Fina Unganufu. Williams is flawless and Unger just that one kick and really was a high quality game in the first half. Let's hope it continues as we go again. This is the Auckland 1A competition. Sacred Heart College and Auckland Grammar. Taken down by halfback try scorer. Lakota doesn't find touch. Who's back here? Chambers Stewart almost gets around. Then to stay in field too. So first opportunity here for Auckland Grammar. Tucking it under the arm, carrying forward. Grammar front rowers. Jackson. Industrious number eight is Cage Jackson. Drops Ball's it. Down. It's another go. Good work from Grammar here. They're just outside the 22. Flat pass. This time they're up on him quickly. Fino Manufu. Presents again for McKenna. He's grey. Saw him coming to Manukia, so collected it. Gray. Flat pass to Lotu Winger. Second movement. And unfortunately for Grammar Willie, just a little unforced error. The eight phases, and they were going lateral in there. They tried to just steal a few extra metres, and the referee says that you've got to play the ball at the first time. You can't go an extra roll and give yourself momentum. And so Sacred Heart get a chance to actually touch the ball in the second half. And there was Marty Stanley to the left. His son was supposed to play, but was ruled out. And to the right, former All Black Jeremy Stanley, the son of Joe Stanley, who, of course, attended Auckland Grammar as well. Both two old boys. Yeah, young Matt. Matt Stanley was due to play this game, unfortunately. Rolled out with illness. No doubt watching on eagerly. Seeing how his team gets on. Sacred Heart with the first set piece of the second half. Picked off too by their captain, lock forward, Jaden Kingy, and a good first half defensively, in particular, Kingy. Advantage off the feet, two. The referee's arm goes out again for Sacred Heart. Trying to throw the ball around the back was Potato Mailulu, the other locking partner, Lock Kenny. He's hard to put down. Comes back to Unga. Flat pass. That was sitting there floating in the hands as well. We'll go back for the penalty. Now, you mentioned the captain of Sacred Heart, Jaden Kingy, and 
He said before the game that they were looking to try and move Number the grammar pack three. around and so they've identified what they needed to do, but he has been busy both on attack and defence. And I'll give you a tip as well, Tom. When there's a big crowd and there's a line out on that side of the field and you're the captain, you call yourself every time. Straight out of the Ian Jones book. Yeah, that side of the ground is uh, certainly uh, the domain of the locals. And Sacred Heart, their supporters on the other side. And obviously in much smaller numbers, but terrific support for both schools. Wonderful feature whenever we broadcast first 15 games around the country. Crowds is terrific. Here is Grammar, tipped on by Halafi'i. Pinanganofu taken down this time by Unga for Sacred Heart. They win the penalty too. My Lulu, he's a big strapping man. We highlighted him in the first five minutes of the game where he made that beautiful tackle on Gray, who had come back the blind side, and so the lock had to make the tackle on that occasion. He gets his big two-metre frame down over the ball. And there's 115 k's of Tongan muscle there. You're not going to move him. Good luck. That's lovely body position. And they get another chance to extend the lead. He is one big human. It's a good second row combination, isn't it? Kingy and Mailulu, they just look like an industrious pair, work hard for each other. The real engine room of that Sacred Heart pack. Giving the platform for young men like Josiah Unger to run the show. And at the moment, he's doing a good job of it. Just the couple of blemishes in that first half. Chance to extend the lead beyond seven here for Sacred Heart. Wonderful strike of the rugby ball, but he's just started it too far to the left and didn't correct. So no goal, unsuccessful penalty attempt from Josiah Unger. The score remains 19-14 in favour of the visitors. Restart, and come back at it again. Lovely little great footwork there. Shanks, I think that was for Sacred Heart. Just went off their feet Hold there, but they didn't let it go. So that advantage that was gained by Shanks and Grammar. It feels Thank a bit you. like Grammar under siege here slightly, Willie. Well, they're a little bit confused about what they're doing at the moment, and they just need to go to set piece. Retain position, just get into their structure. That's what I loved about the halftime talk with both coaches. We're so good and we appreciate the fact that we can get into the huddles and listen to what they had to say. And James Hans just saying to his team, stick to what works. We don't need to panic and we don't need to rush things. As for Gus Ledger, well, he says pretty much keep doing what we were doing in the first 35. So were they listening to the coach here, Grammar? Do they just go back to the set piece? Change at halfback for Sacred Heart. Vakautu's made way for Helu in jersey 20. First job, work on defence. The front of the line out goes Halafihi. Two men straight in front. Straight through. Yeah. You can't, you can't take out the opposition before the straight person who's caught the ball has made contact. And I know there'll be people at home saying, what is that for? But the ball carrier must be the first player that makes contact with the opposition. He can't have his two guys that are actually on both sides of him that actually wedge him, not allowing the opposition any chance. And that's not out. Nafahu floats the pass infield to Williams, who spots a lot of open space. Coming forward, though, to meet it. The fullback for Sacred Heart. Lucy taken, though, by Gray. Right on halfway. Comes again, short pass. Mailalu slams into the defence. Lokiti, little show, almost got the arms free to Siuni Lokiti. Stay away, stay away. Ball ripped there by Manukia. Here's Lokini. He's gone back to collect it. Okay, gents, we're going backwards. Ripped out forward in the contact. What I really like about the Sacred Heart side, even with the changes and 
Helu comes in at halfback, but he's just so quick at getting the ball out in the contact area. He's just in there, and immediately it's moved out to the wider channels. And they're happy to chance their arm playing the game in the midfield and then using their big forward to try and rumble it up as well. They have got some amazing athletes, this young Coach. Sacred Heart side. Find. Uh, Auckland Rugby is a bright future Set. for some of these players. If we can keep them. Pressure on that Sacred Heart scrum. Helu's trying to clear it. Eventually he does. Taking it to the line and flicking it back on the inside. Kepa Or. Right winger for Sacred Heart. Threatened to cut them up there. This time decides to run to Zonga. Pressure there over that ball. Auckland Grammar. It looked good. And it was good. You know, in big games, you need big players. And there is the vice captain. Fenanga Nofo, he knew that he had to try and get his hands on the ball, just turn things around. And so now Grandma, they went for the drive earlier. I'd like to see them try and move the ball here, but just have a look at this. Fenanga Nofo, doesn't matter what number you've got on your back these days, you've got to play every role. Ned all writes the ball and gets the penalty. Number five, Jets. Number five. Here's something they should do, Tom. And I'd, I'd, I'd imagine they spoke about as well as Grammar. This quick ball off the back and for Gray to actually use Fina Anganufo as a on. decoy. Sacred Heart will definitely come in. He'll draw in a couple of players and that's where the gaps are. So they need to start, instead of giving him the ball every time, just start using him as a decoy. He does attract a lot of attention. Got the likes of Nafahu and Williams out wide who, when they've had the ball today, have looked very, very good. So, with some skill there. That one, not quite where it was intended, but they've got it anyway. Cleared by McKenna. Here's their opportunity. Great. I think he was looking for Fenonganufu. Back to the left hand side they go, charging it forward. Lock to winger this time. A lock. Carries for Kenna. Fiona Monofu. Hainsworth for awful this time for Grammar. Lining up. Tip over the defence is good. Heavy contact. Jackson. It's a quick ball here too for Grammar. They can't hold on. Great defence. Put it down to the quality of the defence from the visitors. Nothing wrong with the set play of Auckland Grammar. They've got some big ball runners, but the mark. one thing that their coach at halftime, James Hand, said is square up. And that's what they need to do. No point running sideways, because that's what happens, is you're going to run into a shoulder of the opposition. But if you square your body up, it means that you're running into a gap, as opposed to going across the field there. If he squares up, he gets through the hole. He runs lateral, goes across. He's always easy meet, easy to tackle Fight. someone running on that angle. Get up, get up, come on. Step up, step up. Okay, we're folding in, fellas. Keep that gap. Hate to add that the Auckland Grammar coach was talking to a forward at the time saying that <laughs> square up, meaning forwards quite often run sideways instead of squaring up as backs do. Especially good quality backs. Coach. Here he is, James Hance. Find. Set. More pressure on that Sacred Art scrum. We need another chance. Just looks like a little bit of pressure going on from Auckland Grammar there, Willie. A little bit of pressure, wow. Gone through 45. They've got to just start using the number one channel now. You don't want to stay in the scrum if you're under all sorts of pressure. And so Lockini comes into play as well, the number eight. He just needs to get it out of there as quickly as they can. Don't keep it in the scrum. Otherwise, I think if this happens again, Grammar will get a penalty. Coach! Find! Any thoughts about the Sky Sport player of the day? There has been some strong individuals on show. Lockenny, when we talked about trying to get rid of it, will he? <laughs> right on cue. They get the penalty, Auckland Grammar. Only a five point ball game here. Well, now, Plenty of you. time, we've only had 11 minutes of the second half. Yeah, well, the pleasing thing is we've only had seven scrums. Decision, gentlemen, please. And that there, the front row of Sacred Heart, they're under all sorts of pressure. Captain, inside. Will you want, please? In the front row, if you can feel pressure, you normally stand up. 
to try and take the pressure off your body and by doing that it's illegal plenty of time good reward for grammar auckland grammar in the first half they didn't come out of the gate they were like a horse that stayed in the gate didn't jump much better in the second half and this will also That's just give them a little bit of breathing time and gosh i've been impressed with the quality of leadership from both of these sides so riley williams has got this one on the tee two from two in that first half from one of them was from a tricky angle just to close that gap a little bit more Good strike from Williams off the posts. So no goal. Score remains 19-14 in favour of Sacred Heart. Onga. Comes down to Williams. Spot a little bit of space did Williams. Good return from the Auckland Grammar oh, fullback. Comes back here to Gray. He also looking for some open real estate. Sits up, collected by Sacred Heart. And into touch it goes. And so definitely advantage Auckland Grammar from that. Yeah, Josiah Ronga couldn't get an angle on it. And so he's just hooked it. Net gain of about five metres. Wow, well, Grammar. Looking for some fresh replacements, and Jackson comes on into the front row. And so, Time's on. that's not Jackson, that's actually Bolton for Sacred Art. Getting the jerseys mixed up, need to put the glasses on. <laughs> 14 minutes gone in the second half. Half time score remains. Just joining us, five tries in the first half, a thrilling first half. More like a boxing match in the start of the second. This one tapped back on the Sacred Heart side. Brady Walsh carries it forward. Back to Uisi. And that's not out. Chambers Stewart. Arms out too for Grammar. One of those Sacred Heart players retired, so another decision here for Auckland Grammar to make. Go to the corner, kick it out, roll up the sleeves and ask your big boys to do some work. It feels like one of those games, doesn't it, Willie, that we've seen three penalty attempts and while the, they haven't been from tricky distances, every time someone's gone to the corner, they've come away with the, the chocolates. Well, that's the whole thing. And, you know, these are young men too, and so you keep putting them under pressure because at such a young age you think, well, we'll be okay here. And all it takes is just for Grammar to score points and get some momentum, and then all of a sudden things change and they get their crowd back into the game. Five metres from the goal line. Halafihi. Goes to the safety of the front. Finds Lotawinga. Two metres from the line. Big opportunity here for Grammar. Head down. On your own. Little dummy. Make a lot of ground. Charging up towards the goal line. Flicks it on. Wiki. He's driven back, though the defence is good from Sacred Heart. McKenna's gone in, wants to give the backs a go. Shows it up to the liners, and spinning is Gray, and Gray's there. Right there, one motion, one motion. Grammar, draw level. Such is the threat of Farafihi, Finang and Ofu, that they just drifted off the first five. They said, have a go, son. If you're good enough, you'll get there. And good enough, you're kidding me. He's way good enough. Callan Gray brings the home side back in this match. The forward's got involved. Look at that, the dummy. And they took the dummy there. 
Unger was there. He was flat-footed. Through the gap goes Gray. Champagne finish coming up. Yeah, they were convinced that Fina Onganofu was going to get the ball. Two of them drifted. And there was the space for Gray. And he said, thank you. 19 all. Kick to come. I might do some coaching. I might get into coaching at some stage, I'm thinking. Williams kicks the conversion and Grammer back in front two-point ball game here at the foot of the mountain being Mount Eden 21-19 is the score and we've got 18 minutes to play. Unga, Kay, Lokini and Kingy for me have been the players that have really stood out for Sacred Heart and as for Grammer well Manuki has been great. Finau an awful obviously and this man here Yeah, lots of candidates for the Sky Sport player of the match. Changes. We've got another Finonganofu on the field. That's John. Brother three, and I'm told there's more to come. Nice little offload. Grandma, they'll be feeling confident. It's time the Touch, tends to chip it over the top. It's back in the hands of Sacred Heart. It's a bit messy. Come on back there, collect it. You see, they've gone a long way back, lost a lot of ground. Good work from McKenna. Finn McKenna, the little halfback. Scraggs, tip over to ground. There's a few numbers out here to the left hand side. Good work there from Shanks, bouncing off tackles. Lockenny. Kay's coming at first receiver. And Flicks that one on. Hello. Anthony Bolton with the carry. He's in. Back left they come again. Wrapping around. Here's Kay. He looks so good. The ball, though, lost in that heavy tackle. Just the kind of work they needed to do on Kobe Kay. Looks so dangerous with the ball, with ball in hand. And how about the tackling from his opposite? Tamiro Armstrong hardly mentioned his name, the 13 for Grammar, but I need you now. And he answered his captain's call. Have a look at the captain. And this is Shanks' boy. Oh boy, he has been one of my favorite players. I like his style. I like the cut of his jib. He comes out of the Sacred Heart mold. And have a look at this defensive work there. Armstrong and Hala Fihi said to Kobe K, welcome to our fortress. Seconds in, please. Called in as a late replacement, Armstrong, to the injury of Stanley, and Crouch. another class player. Point. Set. Hey, step up. Step up. Step up. Okay, fellas, yeah, they are. Ball. Armstrong, Finonganofu, Chambers, Stewart, out on the left wing. They've had to work really hard in the second half. Auckland Grammar to get their nose back in front. Still plenty of time in this one. 15 minutes. Course 35 minute halves in the 1A competition. Sacred Heart and Auckland Grammar. They played out a thriller 12 months ago. Sacred Heart won it. Grammar, nose in front midway through the second half. Riley's in at first five. He's trying to turn Ulysses around. And he called the mark. Here's your mark. Hard to believe these young men are 16 and 17 years old with the maturity and the skill set that they play with. This is just out of the top draw. This is incredible. It's only round two. Imagine <laughs> once they're really in swing around round five and six. Yeah, every game in this competition is so important. Unlike the previous seasons, there is no semi-finals, no final. This is a round-robin competition. The champion will be the most consistent team. That's why it should be. Consistency, you get rewarded.
Oh, one. Riley again at first receiver. Here's Finoganofu. Good support play from Jackson, the number eight. Here come Grammar again. Helu, the replacement halfback, playing the loose forward role. He was Step in away. there as quick as you like. Boy, you've got to be brave to go into some of these places and have a look at this. There's Jackson with the run and straight away he's in over the ball. Helu gets the reward, giving his side a chance to get outside their own red zone. You talked about, Willie, about the maturity of, uh, of the players and the decisions they make. I want to pick up on the spirit in which this game's been played in, too, because this is an intense rivalry. These guys, they don't always like each other, Grammar and Sokan. But, boy, has it been a, a, an element of respect out here today. Uh, there is no like on the field. But you watch as soon as the final whistle goes, they're brothers in arms again, such as the beauty of sport. Line out down the back. Oh, here come Grammar through. Flanker. Hainsworth. McKenna digs in. Lots of winger. Ball and tackler at the same time. Does well though. Presents again for its half. It's Halafiki. Acceleration from the hooker. Riley Williams spots a bit of space on the far side, putting a bit of pressure. Oh, it's all over the show. Where's he going to sit up? Connected by the grammar player. Nafahu. Turnover, an opportunity, and Sacred Heart just did enough, Willie. Oh, great play by Williams. <laughs> Nothing was on, so he said, let's just send it up in the air into the 22. And the bounce of the rugby ball is cruel. Gus Ledger, the Sacred Heart coach, would have had his heart in his mouth right there because the bounce could have gone anywhere. Wiki was there to pick it up, and then he offloaded to Nafahu, and they held him up. Oh, boy, this is a game of inches. I was about to say, did he get his knee down? But I think the referee has had a cracking, he's had a cracking game all afternoon. He got one, that one spot on too. Defensive scrum here though for Sacred Heart. They trail by two. Big pressure, big pressure on their scrum. But illegally from Auckland Grammar. Well, it's the old classic front row joke, isn't it? Leah Ayamanu. Says the referee, what's that for? He says, you're boring. He goes, you're not so exciting yourself, ref. But boring means he's going in on the angle. And he's got to go straight. He can't go on that angle to give his side the advantage. You, Tom Bartlett, are not boring. Thank you, Willie. Neither are you. Looking forward to your jokes after the game. Tapped on the Sacred Heart side. Here is Lelia Fano. Siosi. Younger brother of Brian, who another one we've featured on Land Rover First 15 before. A good touch finder from Sacred Heart. That's inside the grammar half. That's the good old fashioned Maori sidestep. Well, they've now called it the Samoan and Tongan sidestep as well, but yes, tuck it under the wing and run straight ahead. Good exit from Sacred Heart. And the Grammar fans, they're sensing a little bit of revenge from that defeat 12 months ago. Still time for Sacred Heart. Two-point ball game. We're inside the last 10 minutes. Great to have you company this afternoon, wherever you're watching. Again, Halafiti. Head drops. Didn't get the line out right. Not the first one. Hasn't got right this afternoon. Sacred Heart, though. Ball in hand here. Hilu. Shifts it on to Meredith. Roll tackler, advantage. And then Lock Kenny, he has a little go. Some advantage being played here too for Sacred Heart. Of course, only a two-point ball game. Over the ball, Jackson. And here's that penalty. We speak about the captains and the impact that they have. And Tom, that's a classic example because Jaden Kingy was the man that got up and won the ball in that opposition line out there. The throw from Halafihi, there was nothing wrong with the throw. Absolutely nothing wrong with the throw, but he just got up and wanted it more, and this is where they 
and rolled up the sleeves with their big ball runners like Lokini. There's player not rolling away quick enough. They get the penalty and this a chance to get back in the lead. Josiah Unga has had a pretty good day with the boot and a potentially big moment in the game here. Chance to put his team back in front. Of course, when the clock ticks down, Willie, the only place you really want to be is in front of the scoreboard. Everything else is a little bit. Yeah, he missed one in the first half and a couple in the second half, so he just needs to concentrate here and just go through his rhythm, certainly within his range. And no good from Josiah Unger. And the score remains. Grammar 21, Sacred Heart 19. Seven minutes to play here at Auckland Grammar School. What a thrilling 1A competition. Showdown this has been. This is the standard in 2020. Then you won't want to miss any of these games live right here on the home of Sports Guy. Here we go. Here comes Sacred Heart. Side up about 22 they go. Back to the open, a juggle from Lockenny, but he does well to bring it in. Sacred Heart coming, stalling into the 22. Back to the captain, Kingy. Short pass. Tackle looked a little high, but this play on's the call. Comes again, lovely floating pass. Doing well out on that left flank. Grady Walsh. Back to Hilu. K. Meredith. This is where they'll be looking for those year 13s, those players who have played here in, in this game before, at this level before. Kingy, let it go. Got out of the way, did my Lulu. Out we go again to Kurulic. Tries to stay in field. Does well too, does Milan. Kingy. Head straight and hard. Hello. Digging in to get his hands on it. Back again for Lokini. Their big names are starting to come to the fore here for Sacred Heart. Kingy, Lokini. Five minutes to play. Clear a back foothold. They're in position here, Willie, for the DG if they Good. want it. They can go wide as well. They've got numbers out to the right. Not touched. Another carry. Just rumbling their way forward here are uh, Sacred Art. Short little pass to Hankins. Well, Bill spilled out the side, and Williams says, let's get out of here. Let's rip with the left boot, and we're in touch. And Auckland Grammar can breathe again. Take a bow, Auckland Grammar. If you're able to hold on for the next five minutes, you deserve it. No bigger play than what we just saw there under immense pressure. The break down the sideline from Sacred Heart. The way EC has been in great form. Krilatech, the open side flanker, running like a winger. And then they were able to get the turnover and get out of jail. Kingy wins the line out. That's the captain of Sacred Heart. His team trails by two. Good work here from Sacred Heart, Hankins. Referee's been pretty stringent on players not rolling away. Allowed that one to continue. Four minutes to play. Back to the back line, it comes again. Floating the pass to Kay. Coming from distance is UEC. He spots lovely little Jack. Draws the pass on in there. Final can't hold on. And he's in touch. Oh, I never get sick of seeing PJ UEC with ball in hand. He has got some skills. Unbelievable. Talk about squaring up and have a look at the fullback when he comes into the line. Gets the ball from Kane. Watch this. He squares him up by doing this. Going in and then straight. That is unbelievable. That pass, if it had gone to hand, oh, Leo Lafano could have been in the corner. Just heard it through the referee's mic there. 
Three minutes to play. Sacred Heart at the right end of the field, but they're on the wrong Coach. end of the scoreboard. Two Point. points of difference. Grammar scrum. Set. Cleared from McKenna and Nafahu. Good carry from the big right winger. Comes again. Bolton makes the tackle on Jackson. Floats it out to Riley. He floats a long one out. Here's some running rugby in the last couple of minutes from Auckland Grammar. Ball's been lost though. But enthusiasm. First, just lost the ball forward. Second. Yeah. Armstrong. Young Tamira Armstrong. He did everything right. Got on the outside of his marker and then just went to go again. That's all right. He'll learn from that. He's only a young man. He's got a massive future in front of him. And now they just need to hold out here, Grammar. They just need to be as strong as they have been in the last six minutes on defence. No problem there at all. I tell you, we will be watching this, Tom, as uh, Clark Laidlaw, the New Zealand Sevens coach. Boy, he has got some talent he could work with from both of these teams. Certainly is. Inside the last couple of minutes. Saturday afternoon in Central Advantage Auckland, Grammar and Sacred Heart. There's advantage. Comes to that fullback again. He's so dangerous, so elusive. They can't hold on. He's still going. Luisi presents it again for Hilu. Grammar are going to be asked to make some more tackles. Terrific carry there from Mailolu. Back to the right they come. Kobe Case puts a bit of space. Four metres from the goal line, Sacred Heart. Look at it. Charging forward. No balls available. Hold there. Helu distances Mailulu. One metre from the line. Real big moment of the game here. Minute to play. Sacred Heart, can they steal it at the end? Thank you. Advantage outside. Another advantage. Spinning. Foot gold. Elafihi's there. Spins over. Less than a minute to play, and Sacred Heart at the front. Depends how long he takes on the kick. So many of them right in the thick of it. With, look, it might be Hilu, Kanavalu Hilu, the replacement halfback who at the end. We're in there. Depends how long you take. <laughs> Everybody's asking me the same question. What a finish. Sacred heart. Having been stuck on 19 the entire second half, they've watched Grammar go past them and then right at the death. They nick it. Napoto with the conversion attempt, but it won't matter. Sacred Heart, arms go up. They nick it at the end. They make it two years in a row, winning over Auckland Grammar. They get it done 24 21. And you can see what it means to them and their supporters. Always a big win. If you can get it done at Auckland Grammar, and that's what they've done. Sacred Heart trailed by two inside the last minute. And they get the try, and you can see the disappointment on the Auckland Grammar faces. They had the game in their grasp, but Sacred Heart came back at them, they came back at them, and they came back at them again. And they win the game 24 to 21. Let's get some reaction. Willie Lose is downstairs with a Sacred Heart captain, Jaden Kingy. Jaden, what a performance from you in particular. You led right from the front. Describe the emotions that you're feeling at the moment. Oh man, that was so awesome. Man, we were down by three and we caught it. The way we fought through the end with our forward picking going, man, that's, a, that's, that's rugby, man. Just for, for fighting all the way through. But big ups to Grandma, man. They fought hard. They really, really put us into war, put us under the pressure. 
and uh, just big ups to them. But for our boys, man, it's an awesome effort, and I'm very proud of them. I'm going to take you back 60 minutes ago. You were down by 14. You had dominated the first half, the majority of it. What did you say to your team behind the post there to bring yourself back into it? A bit of a slow start, but um, yeah, then we started getting our continuity back, started getting into the game, started carrying hard. Yeah, then, then I just put, put, on the, put it under the pump. But yeah, just on the last down, they were scoring. Yeah, but big ups to Grandma again, man. They really put us under pressure. And I'm very grateful for this big game. And uh, but we, our job's not done yet. We've still got, still got a long season ahead. But uh, great, glad to get to win today. Mate, you're a terrific captain. Go and enjoy the moment. Thank you, sir. Terrific scenes at Auckland Grammar. Sacred Heart have come and they have conquered. They trailed by two and they've come back and won it by three. Full time at Auckland Grammar. It's the visitors, Sacred Heart, who win it 24 to 21. What a game. What a win for Sacred Heart. What an afternoon of Land Rover first 15 rugby we have witnessed. 24 21, Sacred Heart at the death, get it done. Superb game, superb performance by that group of young men. But for the defeat, tough for Auckland Grammar. Let's go inside their cabin here from the losing captain, who is Finau Halafihi. He's downstairs with Willie Lossi. Finau, not the result that you wanted. I know you'd be very disappointed, but you must be proud of the way that your team stayed in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Pretty disappointed, but hey, it's about the learning. I just just pick it up from here and just keep working on. This is not the end. But what, yeah, game for secret. Good. What did you say to the guys when you were leading? You knew that you had to try and hold on. Was it just about not making mistakes? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was just. Uh, the voice was just a little bit unorganised at the end. Just not much talking, but yeah, secret got us in the end. All right, mate. Best of luck. Cheers. Hard interview there for Finau Halafihi. What a game. Let's have a look at the highlights of a terrific afternoon of rugby and Auckland Grammar having absorbed so much pressure in the first 10 minutes. Hit straight back with the opening try through Falcon Lia Suasu. Finau on a He nabbed a second a few minutes later with this pinching the intercept. And all of a sudden, Grammar having having taken so much pressure, 14 0 up. Here came Sacred Heart. Yeah, they did. A lot of pressure there on the young live wire halfback, Kava Vakauta. He got over for their first, and this gave them some, some momentum, and they wanted to score a second. Certainly was. Lovely offload from Shanks. Grady Walsh in the corner, in the tackle. Superb finish, really, under pressure. And they're right on the struggle half time. He nicked it, nicked it like that. Yeah, he read it like yesterday's newspaper. Josiah Runga got the intercept and to score, and they led by five at the break. 19 14, that score at half time. Second half, Auckland Grammar really had to work into it, and Cullen Gray spotted the space and scored the try. Well, they led right up to the 69th minute, and then after a big build up, over goes Lokini. Sione Carl, Lockini, and once again, Sacred Heart break Auckland Grammar Hearts. Three point ball game, four tries to three. Lockini, Vakul to Unga and Walsh for Sacred Heart. Lea Suasu, great, and Fina Unganofu for Grammar. Williams was perfect from the tee for Grammar, and Unga and Napoto in the end, though. That try at the end, Lockini, that was the difference in a terrific game of Land Rover first 15 rugby this afternoon. 24 plays 21 saw a terrific number of rising stars of the international of the game here and in amongst all of it was one sacred heart player wears in jersey number six his name was zachary shanks he had a stormer into everything made tackles he made so many things and he is our sky sport player of the match yeah the player of the day zachary congratulations you're our sky sport player of the day Tell me, how good was that match today? Oh, it was great. <laughs> me match will be a vital first time being such a big crowd. So, yeah. Looks like you enjoyed the contact as well. You enjoyed running with the ball in hand? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Thank you. All right, mate. Well, I know that you're shy, so uh, you are our Sky Sport player of the match. You get uh, some tickets to the Chiefs game, as well as a uh, nice drink bottle and also a fancy speaker as well. So take that, you, and congratulations.
A terrific game here in Auckland this afternoon. It's been won by Sacred Heart 24-21. On behalf of Willie Lose and all the Sky crew, have a terrific afternoon. It's cheers and cheers up to Sacred Heart College winners today.